Exercise 16. The equity section of Westchester Corporation's balance sheet shows the following. Preferred stock, 5% cumulative, $30 par value, $35 call price, 10,000 shares issued in outstanding with a $300,000 balance. Common stock, $10 par value, 40,000 shares issued in outstanding, $400,000 balance, and retained earnings, $267,500. Total stockholders' equity, $967,500. And we're asked to calculate the book value per share of the preferred and common stock under two separate situations. Situation number one assumes that no preferred dividends are in arrears. To calculate the book value of the preferred stock, we take the stockholders' equity that's applicable to preferred stock and divide by the number of preferred shares. How much of this $967,500 company is being claimed by the preferred shareholders? The equity that's applicable to preferred shareholders is equal to the call price plus any dividends and arrears multiplied by the number of preferred shares. We then divide by the number of preferred shares. In this case, there are no dividends and arrears. And since we're multiplying by the number of preferred shares and then dividing by the number of preferred shares, what that leaves us with is the book value per preferred share is the call price. The call price is $35 per share. If the preferred shareholders are claiming $35 per share of the book value, what does that leave for the common shareholders? The stockholder's equity applicable to common stock divided by the number of common shares is the book value per common share. Total stockholder's equity minus the equity applicable to the preferred stock divided by the number of common shares. Total stockholders' equity, $967,500, minus the $35 call price multiplied by 10,000 preferred shares, divided by 40,000 common shares. $967,500 minus the $350,000 that it would take to call in all 10,000 preferred shares, divided by 40,000 common shares. $15.44 per common share is the book value. Requirement 2 asks us to assume that three years of preferred dividends are in arrears. The annual preferred dividend is 5% of the $30 par value. The annual preferred dividend is $1.50 per share. We take the call price plus the dividends in arrears, multiply by the number of preferred shares, and then divide by the number of preferred shares. Since we're multiplying and dividing by the number of preferred shares, the book value per preferred share is the call price plus any dividends and arrears. The call price, $35, plus three years of dividends and arrears at $1.50 per share is a total of $39.50 per share. It would cost $39.50 to call in each one of those 10,000 shares. So now let's calculate the book value of the common stock. The stockholder's equity that's applicable to the common stock divided by the number of common shares. Total stockholder's equity minus the equity applicable to preferred stock divided by the number of common shares. Total stockholder's equity, $967,500, minus $39.50 per share, the call price plus the three years of dividends and arrears, multiplied by 10,000 preferred shares divided by the 40,000 common shares. The numerator, 967,500, minus $395,000 in equity that's applicable to the preferred stock, divide that by 40,000 common shares. The book value of the common stock is $14.31 per share.